What's up guys? So um, in this video, I am going to be showing you like a little q and I did with the subscriber. Um, I just want to remind you that I am not claiming to be an expert at all. I literally am not. I, I keep repeating it, but I am a beginner. Some people just feel that like because I have a YouTube channel, I know what I'm talking about, but I'm literally just documenting and teaching what I'm learning along the way. So um, yeah, but he was asking me some questions and I was giving just some advice based on what I've heard before and what I think would be a good idea. But everyone has their own way of doing things. So my way might not work for someone else and that's totally understandable, it's a business, it's not college it's not school it's not like you have to do something one specific way there's a million ways to do the same thing so that's just something i wanted to remind you also this was like a week ago so some of the things i said uh things have slightly changed in terms of what i'm doing offer wise and all of that but that'll be for another video and excuse the crappy quality it was on my macbook i do need to get like a camera for that but it's just the regular macbook camera which is just you know, all bad and stuff. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoy the video. Yo, what's up, bro? Hello, Rex. How are you? Yeah, man. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, were you able to see the message I left on the, on the meeting? Uh, yeah, it was like you said, uh, you were just like looking for some advice or something. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm sorry for wasting your time for this. It's just that I'm I'm currently like on the SMMA journey too, and and I want like to to make it. You know. No, the, no problem, bro. I totally get it. Thanks, man. Yeah. So, so basically, I just have like a couple questions on on when you're going to basically build an offer and fulfill it. I know you basically uh, work just with uh, Facebook ads and stuff, but. In my company, I'm planning to have like a, a wider range of range or services. That's why I, I can um maybe deliver different products to uh customers that could highly make more profits and, and like target different parts of the industry. Mm -hmm. What what niche are you in? Uh right now I think I'm gonna start with eye centers, eye care centers. Eye care centers. So hmm, that's okay. So like optometrist. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I've never, yeah, I haven't seen many people do that niche. Um, so, like, how do you, how do you plan? Have you, have you, like, started outreach and stuff or? No, I haven't. I'm currently doing the, the, the study, the, the niche study is basically one of the first questions I had. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, how do you make this niche study and understanding their pain points and, like, knowing what the target audience is and what basically they want. What I'm doing currently is like just investigating some of the some of those businesses, and I've seen that some of them lack on website and in marketing strategies and all this stuff. So uh, that's maybe when I when I can come in. Okay, yeah, no, totally. So, uh, sorry. Um, what I do when I'm like researching a niche, I guess, and this is just from basically what I've heard from the pros. I mean, I like I said, I'm a beginner, but. Um, I, yeah. Anyways, so I would I would find out what the average yearly revenue is for okay. you know, optometrist. Uh, where where are you targeting U.S.? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So then, yeah, average in the U.S. And then um, I would see how like what their main. I mean, because I would assume optometrist it's mainly word of mouth, and also mainly Google. Um, google ads like review you know because maybe I'm, their seo ranking and stuff yeah i'm thinking okay what would i do as a consumer if i needed my eyes done and i and i didn't already have an optometrist like because most you know a lot of optometrists i would assume their word of mouth um yeah. and you know also based on google reviews so something you could offer them to kickstart their um their you know progress or whatever or their results right away is doing um database reactivation and like okay google reviews uh or reputation management is what they call it so and that's that's pretty um easy from what i've heard that's what i'm going to be doing so literally all you would do is be like hey do you have a current list of previous 
customers or, you know, clients or whatever. And they'll be like, yeah. And they'll be like, okay, cool. Um, so just send the list over to me and then, um, go high level. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Um, literally there's like something you can do where you can upload the database or whatever, the list into go high level. And then it'll, and you can set up automation. I know it sounds complicated. I haven't even done this myself yet. So this is literally just what I've heard from other people. Oh, but um, you know, basically, basically the what? Hmm? Oh, sorry, sorry. I had, a, I had a technical problem. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can, can hear you. Can okay, you please, cool. like, There's a technical problem here. There you go. You uh, yeah. So, uh, so basically what I was going to plan, what I was planning with them is, um, do you know about Klaviyo? Mm -hmm. So basically, I know that Klaviyo has like like facility to uh, facility so not like um an easy method to uh, connect with uh, almost all these databases or and client tracking platforms that usually business have. You know, so my plan is to do a bit uh, a database reactivation. Thank you for that term. Uh, and I will basically um offer services based on this. The thing is, uh, what I don't know yet is like the big service I could offer. Like maybe I can offer them a platform or how how is like the mm, main offer I can make them. So can you remind me what Clavio? I mean, I've heard of Clavio. Like I feel like a lot of people have, but I kind of I don't really use it. Like what what is it again exactly? Yeah. Clavio is basically if if I if I'm not mistaken, is like a, a email marketing platform, right? And okay. they have uh the, the they have this tool inside the platform where you can basically uh integrate your platforms with a lot of other other platforms basically, and they let you manage your clients' database. They let you set up email campaigns. They let you set up. They also have the drag and drop email uh, builder, so you can you know. Okay. So okay, so you want to use that instead of go high level. Uh yeah, I, I don't really know of go high level. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, I've never used Clavio, but, um, as far as, so you're asking me what, like what offer you should make them in terms of like results and all that stuff. Yes, exactly. Because I, I don't know what is like the, the value I'm providing is what I was, what I'm lacking. I'm, I'm also starting on business stuff. So, so I'm, I have to like build a strong value proposition. Know why a, why a customer will go with me instead of the 20 other agencies that I was calling before. Yeah, I know. I totally see what you're saying. And that, that in the very beginning, um, really comes, yeah, like, it, like you said, it comes down to your offer because like the whole branding aspect of things comes much later when you have testimonials and you have like an established agency. So I, I don't, I wouldn't worry about that too much in the beginning. And like in the beginning, obviously you're a glorified freelancer, like that's just how it goes. Um, but so what I would do is so, so you, you have, you have like zero confidence in like your ability to like, how do you plan on delivering results? Are you going to do the database stuff and then Google, Google ads, like cost per click. And then, well, you, you can, you can take a look at my website maybe and, and see like the, the services I have. It is optimal click that us. Optimal. And basically I can deliver all the services I have there, but the thing is, I have a lot, and I don't know what to offer uh, between all the services because I know I can deliver all of this because, uh, well, I have some digital knowledge. I'm also a developer, so I, I know how to do some stuff. You know, I'm I'm offering also web scraping services. You know, yeah. So what I need is basically like know what of all these things is what actually is gonna um bring a revenue or bring a profit to my niche because I know not everyone needs everything. You know. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, so it says, it says you do e-commerce solutions. Yes. So, so you're doing e-com stuff too, also on top of lead gen. Yes. Yes. I can, I can basically do a lot of stuff. I have, I have a uh, social media bots. I have, I have, I'm planning also on, for example, pay-per-click advertising and, and other things that I don't really good at. I'm planning on, on outsourcing um but yeah basically basically i can do all the stuff that is in there i i would suggest and and like i said because i'm <laughs> i think a lot of people assume i'm like i have a shit ton of experience just because like i have a youtube channel and stuff but honestly i mean like 
I had a client, I got ghosted. Now I have no clients again. Um, and no, so, but, like, 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 as I said on the message, like I've seen your videos and, and they provide a lot of value because I'm, I'm actually learning about the same kind of experience that I need that is basically like going from zero to actually going and getting the first stuff. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I think that's the most important. Yeah, that's why I kind of like I started it was because like no one shows the very like starting, starting part of like what you go through and trying to figure all this stuff out. But so, some things that I've heard just based on like other professionals in the space, and it makes complete sense to me, and I'll explain why, is like keeping it super, super simple in the beginning, um, because you have a ton of different like services that you could provide. And when you have a ton, when you when you offer a ton of things to someone, they see none of them. Like, it's like, exactly. it's like that term, like I've said, um, before I think it's like when you chase two rabbits, you catch none. It's like you you can't. They, they, there's too much going on that's like someone can't make a decision. Someone doesn't see that, and they also don't view you as a specialist because you have so many things you can offer. So it's like obviously it's like oh, a bunch of things you can offer. Oh, awesome! But like in their eyes, they don't see it necessarily like that. So what I would suggest, um, especially because like you know, you just started and whatnot, and uh, I would, I would just stick with like one service, maybe two. Like for me, I'm doing literally just Facebook ads and then I'm funneling them onto, um, backend automation to get them to book an appointment. So okay. that that's literally all I'm doing. Well, in the beginning, I'm doing the, in the very beginning when they start, I'm reactivating their database or whatever, or, but that that's kind of temporary. Um, so I would take out the e-com stuff and all of this also I would suggest on your website, your website looks super, super dope for sure. But I would, um, I, I would add like pictures in there, like of yourself and like, just kind of make it look like more trustworthy because it looks, it looks like professional. I like the way, like, you know, you, you enter it and it's got like all the moving, like optimal click stuff. I just think, um, I would definitely add pictures like either of yourself or, and, and then also just like keeping it, you don't need um a huge, huge website like this. Like, I don't know if you, you, you saw my website, mine was super simple. Like literally you'd click on it. There's a few benefits of like what Facebook ads does, why I started this business. And then like right below, there's a widget where you could book in a call. Like, cause that's, I mean, that's really all they need to do on the website. You, you kind of, you tell them the rest when you, you meet with them on the appointment. Cause the thing is, is like, if you have everything on your website and they look at your website, then there's like no reason for them to meet with you on the appointment. It's like, it takes the curiosity out of what you could really do for them. Um, so my, my solution for that, so, sorry to interrupt you, my solution for the for what i was planning in case of uh someone thinks like I'm, i don't have like a a focus on, on stuff is my plan was always to make it look a professional agency and to make it think like i'm not I'm the only person doing it you know because i'm planning to outsource and i'm planning so i will offer job i will call just as a as a salesperson and i will just offer them the service as a salesperson knowing letting them know what my company can do it's not that like i'm the one fulfilling the services you know yeah, and that may, that may be uh, instead of uh, putting the 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 customers away, builds a, a a trust in maybe working with a big company, having the prices of a normal company that there are people suffer, offering. Right. No. I, yeah. I see what you're saying. Um. So, as far as the outsourcing goes, because you know, like, I mean, outsourcing, I see, I see both sides of like the spectrum because like bro people people always talk about like there's always like that argument between like okay when you're starting off at an agency should you do all the work yourself and learn it and or should you just outsource everything in the beginning personally i think you know well what, what i'm doing because i'm sure you see my videos i'm starting off learning everything myself just because if i'm the owner i feel like I should be able to, if, if someone were to dip out on me, I should be able to know how to take care of the service delivery or the sales part or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? I should be able to wear all hats if I had to, obviously I don't plan. I wouldn't plan on that. I'm going to, you know, outsource eventually, but I should just know those things. Also for when I'm hiring someone, like if I've done it myself and I know what works, I know what to look for. And when I'm hiring a service, you know, someone to do service delivery, like media buying or whatever, 
So those things. Yeah, that's also a good thing. I will say that the only thing I'm not I'm, I'm not really good at on my services is the paper plate advertising. I'm not really good at ads, and I haven't I haven't tried that at all. Well, but, yeah, I mean, that, that's the reason. I mean, if you haven't tried it, then like, of course, I mean, you won't be good at it. Like, I'm, I, uh, I don't have. I'm not good at Facebook ads yet. And that's necessarily, and that's just because I haven't done it enough. Like I don't have experience, but like anything, if you have, if you just do it and you do it consistently and you do it a lot, you'll, you'll get better at it. Yeah, you're right. But but I mean, it's, it's hard. You're definitely like eating a ton of dirt in the beginning. Cause you just like, you're like, bro, this sucks. Like, I don't know at all what to do. And like, I'm nervous. Like, what if I can't deliver him results or whatever, like the client, and that's totally like the the mental stuff I'm going through right now. Like you know, uh, yeah, I, yeah. So I, don't don't quit, bro. Don't quit because I know we can do it. No, yeah, hundred percent. The quitting's not even an option, especially because I I started this channel and I have people that like you know you know watch my stuff and it's like, bro, like <laughs> why would I? You know what I mean? Like that's just not. Nah, bro, for real, you, you you inspire me, bro. You should you should have like a community or you have a Telegram or something. Uh, I don't, I, I have, I've, people have been telling me to start like a discord. I just like haven't gone into that yet because right. I'm trying to balance like my whole entire life because I want to make sure that I'm not like doing too much. I'm spending all my time on YouTube and then not enough on the agency. Cause I don't want to be one of those like people that's like on YouTube talking about, Oh, I have an agency, but like, he's not really doing, doing anything with the, you know what I mean? Like that. I don't want to do that. I want to be um divide it you know time wise as best as i can um like right now i'm hiring a short form content editor to do all of that stuff for me um so that'll free up a lot of time and then also grow the channel and then i'm just going to be posting like two long form a week and then um and then yeah so i could focus most of my time on outreach and actual service delivery and stuff like that you know and and um and then also have you know a full time job so i mean like it's uh, bills to pay. So, I mean, my time is very like, but when I do quit my job, I definitely will want to create like a community or discord or something like that. I think that'd be super cool um, when I have more time, but um, back to what you were asking for your offer. So yes. just a little sidetrack. So I would say do something, don't bite off more than you can chew. I So I know you want to hire, you want to outsource, um, which is, I mean, outsourcing is cool. You know, you'll be, you'll have a little less stress in terms of like the, you know, res- knowing if you can get results or not. And then what I would suggest is like learning them and having them or learning what they're doing and having them walk you through it. So you understand and like the reasons why they do certain things and whatnot. Um, and so to get the most benefit out of it. And then you saw I, on one of your videos that you was like uh, telling the client that they will know exactly what is the return they're, they're getting on their investment. How, how are you able to track that? Facebook does tell you that? Yes. Yeah. But also Google could tell you that too. I mean, okay. yeah, you, you'll see everything there. Um, So offer. So what I'm doing personally, I'll just tell you my offer. I think this is a really good offer. Um. So, well, first I'm starting with free trial, like period. I'm because it's, I mean, okay. so uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a free trial first two weeks. Um, and then the, all they have to do is have pay me a setup fee of $300, but you have to be able to justify the setup fee. You have to be like, yeah, my, this software costs this much. And then also um, it's just because it, I'm I'm not really profiting off of it. It's just so that, I get some type of commitment from you um, because, you know, people that tend to not pay anything at all don't commit yes. very much. So I need some type of commitment and it's just for two weeks, we're going to, re- you know, do your reputation management right away. So you're going to get probably, you know, a couple instant um, clients there and then um, start running, you know, Facebook ads and you'll have to cover the ad budget and I'm telling them that. And then I'm going to be like, and, um, and if we get you good results and you can see yourself working with us, you want to continue, then we can discuss that further. Um, if not, no worries. I totally understand. So that's kind of how I, I'm going about it, but I'm not outsourcing. So you would, okay. you would probably do it slightly differently. Like you'd probably charge a little more if, if you're outsourcing. So you break even. So like, let's say you're paying the person to do it for 500 bucks a month or whatever, whatever it is, you know, you'd be like, 
all right, set up fee 500 just to cover my team costs. And then, you know, so I would, I would start it off like that as a beginner, just to get the testimonial. Um, because with that testimonial, that testimonial is so much more valuable than like a thousand dollar retainer in the beginning, because like a thousand dollar retainer. Oh, awesome. Cool. Then they did because you didn't, you didn't give them their money's worth. You know, you didn't get them good results. And now, mm -hmm. now it's like, okay, I don't have a testimonial that I can use to get other clients. So that's what I'm, 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 I'm being patient with it. You know, you see a lot of these people in the agency space doing 10 K a month in 30 days and going like, Oh, like, look how cool this is and all this stuff. But like, it's no one talks about how long they're, they're keeping those clients for, or if they actually provided a good service. Like, bro, if I didn't have to worry about service delivery at all, and literally all I had to do was just sell, like, and you know, of course, I mean, if you, if you learn, like you can, you can do that. Like, of course, like the hard, the hardest part for me is going to be the serv the actual service, which is what I'm oh, learning. Yeah. Um, so I'm planning to start maybe cold calling this week. I, I think uh, I already have like a, a strong product and I think I'm, I'm just able to start making sales. I was, I was going to ask you, would you be interested if I close a deal related to your niche, throw it out to you so you can do it and we can split the deal. Um, Root. Well, so I thought you're sticking just with op optometrists. Yes. Um, but How do you find a roofer? yeah. Okay. So, so you're, you're just like, uh, targeting a certain niche. You're not able right now to do like the different niches and like, because let's say I, I close a, uh, $2,000 deal. I can, we can split it 50, 50 and you get, uh, to deliver the service and I do the sales, the sales part. Um, I mean, uh, so I, I would, but I'm, well, first thing is I don't believe in like partnering type of thing in the very I beginning. Understand. Okay. Yeah, no, I, and it's no, it's no hard feelings at all. Um, but okay. also I don't want to add any confusion to what I'm doing. I'm literally keeping it as simple and concise okay. as possible. Just me doing it, doing roofing, not taking on any other niche. Because okay. I'm a specialist in roofing, that's what I'm supposed to be. Okay. And, like, you know, so um yeah, but plus like I, I feel like service delivery wise, I'm not even I mean, I don't really I mean yeah. I have understanding, but I'm more I'm more sales for sure. Um I feel like on, on, on my case, what I what I'm trying to do is, is specialize on the service and then uh knowing niche per niche knowing how to apply this service to each niche so firstly i have like to build strong skills on the on the services itself and yeah I, I will basically learn ads because that's the as we were talking earlier that's like the the biggest way of telling the client like yeah you're gonna put in this and you're gonna take out this and that is basically a strong part of the offer that i have to to develop you know but yeah i'm, I'm gonna do it yeah exactly and then um as far as you know offer after the free trial if like let's say let's say you, they want to work with you. It's like, okay, what next? Cause now you're not going to have the same offer. It's not going to be a free trial. Now you should, then I would pivot. See, I don't see the thing is, I don't know how many appointments a month would be considered good for your niche. So that's something I would figure out. And, and yeah. also in terms of like what you think you're capable of doing and like, what's a safe bet for me, for roofing, I'm guaranteeing 10 booked appointments. Um, but the the way the way I'm positioning the offer is where it's pay per results, but I'm still getting paid up front. I'm not waiting for the results to get paid because that would be a total nightmare. Because like if you think wow. about it, you would have to manually bill them every month and it would be a different amount every month. You would have to remind them and deal with it, it'd be a pain in the ass. Yeah, so people, people. Yeah, exactly. So what I would do is be like, all right, well, let's say you're guaranteeing 15 booked appointments in the optometrist calendar every month and yes. you want to you want to and and let's i mean i don't know how much you want to know the client the average client value for an optometrist as well that's important i know it's definitely high ticket so what i would do is probably charge 100 bucks per appointment or you know somewhere around there and be like hey yeah i'm gonna charge you you know 1500 dollars in the beginning because i'm guaranteeing you 15 booked appointments and right. each one's worth a hundred dollars and if you, if I don't make that guarantee for whatever reason, let's say I hit 13 booked appointments a month, since each yeah. appointment's worth a hundred dollars, I'm going to refund you $200. And then, um, and then, yeah, anything over 15 booked appointments a month, 
since I'm incentivized to, because like if if you gave them freebies, if you were like, oh yeah, let's say I, I get you 20 booked appointments and like the extra five are just free. There's no, why would there be an incentive for you to like try to get 20 appointments? You know what I mean? You'd be like, oh, screw that. That's extra work. And I'm not going to get paid. And then they think like right. that too. So if you were to like, be like, Hey, no, I'm just going to charge 50 bucks for any appointment over 15. That'll still give you the incentive, obviously, to get as many as possible. But then they'll look at it like a bargain. They'll be like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. And then you would just build that portion separately. So that's that. That's definitely like the best. I think that's the most like risk-free offer. And then it's also less hassle on your part in terms of like getting paid. So also another thing I think I, the um uh, price my offer is the fact that I can offer them a booking platform and also a website as this. So yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, definitely, bro. Um bro, <laughs> before before we had this call, I had a meeting with a prospect or whatever, an appointment, and they just like no showed. So I was like, oh, <laughs> whatever. Oh. Yeah. I like I like call I like called and emailed like two two times like three times and nothing so oh well yeah, um, okay good luck good luck oh maybe we can we can still in contact if i if i um get a a clue of on um, figuring all this out maybe we can help each other yeah i will let you know for sure and also um i just had to ask so because i've been recording this um just you know just because to look back at whatnot um would you would you mind if, I mean, if I were to put this on my channel for like other people to watch so that they could like kind of learn from it or if not, no worries. I was just curious. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no worries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, your face isn't in it or anything. It's like no one yeah, no, knows it's, who it's, you are. If, so. if, you could just, if you could just uh put, put my name out because I don't want like the name to be related to the company, but yeah. uh, that's, that's all. Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks man. I think that's all. Alright, all right, have a good one. Thank you so much. Later.